Hey everybody, it's Jamie Shaw, and we're live on the Penny, on the Jamie Shaw, Jamie Shaw Marketing Show. <laughs> I want to say Penny Pitcher Marketing Show, but it's the Jamie Shaw Marketing Show. I'm still a little bit under the weather, but uh, I am here with you tonight. Uh, Terry will be joining us pretty soon. She had a, uh, a doctor's appointment. She's on her way home, so uh, Terry will be joining us pretty soon. She had a, uh, my other computer's going crazy, so yeah. So here we are, Thursday night, two days before Christmas, you know, and a lot of people are taking their time off, you know, since my show doesn't interfere with the holidays, you know, I decided to keep keep it going. You know, tonight I want to talk about the, uh, what do I want to talk about? The seven... I wrote it down. Forgot my own topic. That's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> the seven steps. Seven steps to get anything you want in your in it right now. Hold on a minute. I lost my train of thought. That's that's a problem with being sick. You can't remember anything. Seven keys to changing anything in your life. And that's our topic for tonight. So we're going to start out with, there's three reasons why people don't change. And those three reasons are, you know, number one is they're out of practice. And you need to raise your standards. The difference in people's lives is the difference in their standards. So, if, you know, you're not achieve, achieving something, you may need to uh, raise your standards up a little bit. Turn your shoulds into must. When something is a must, you follow through. You know, uh, I'm, you know, Dave and I quit smoking. You know, that I changed my should. I should quit smoking into a must. I must quit smoking. You know, so I must vape now instead of smoking. You want to get unreasonable. And why you want to get unreasonable is because unreasonable people rule the world. They do things. Others believe are impossible. Try Google Chrome, Terry. She's having problems with logging in. And step two, why, number, number two, why people don't change is they rationalize and tell themselves stories and they lie to themselves. They develop self, you need to develop self honesty. Drop the story and tell yourself the truth. You know, quit telling yourself, I can't do this, or, uh, you know, I'm not good enough, or uh, I don't have enough time. All you're doing is lying to yourself. Uh, understand the power of now. If you tap into the power of now, or you tap into the power of momentum and do something about it, now, you know, when you're taking action, you're in momentum. So take the, you know, take it by the hand and go. Follow through with it. Uh, develop the habit of chunk, chunking. I'm not really going to cover chunking a lot, but chunking is, you know, a very powerful, powerful habit. And I'll explain a little bit of it. Start by tackling one manual piece of a project. Write a one paragraph about things you can do. You know, like this pen writes. You know, it writes with black ink. You know, that's chunking down. You want to chunk up. With a, um, which, like I said, I'm not really going to cover chunking. Uh, I need to dig into it some more to completely understand it. There's a whole course on chunking up and down, and that's this course I'm taking and re, you know teaching to you tonight. You know, um, it kind of covers chunking later on in some of the lessons, but uh, I'm not going to get into it because it's a whole big subject. <laughs> so. Um, Terry's having problems getting on or what? All right, let me get back here to where I was. Let's zoom my camera in a little bit. My camera's all kinds of goofy tonight. There we go. Okay. And you want to stop using softeners. Um, quit making yourself feel better. 
make yourself feel better without cha actually changing anything trains you to accept mediocrity mediocrity you know that's true now they well I feel a little better but you know I'm still still sick but you know just fight through it you know the show must go on hi Katie how are you so the third thing is they've had an ineffective strategy an ineffective strategy you know they don't take action or they they use an excuse you know that they wrote one or two blog posts and they didn't get any traffic so it didn't work or they they posted on Facebook two or three times and they didn't get any nobody liked their page so it didn't work you know so it's an ineffective strategy develop a strategy that works you won't produce an extraordinary body by changing your diet alone you know so that's a true fact right there so those are the three reasons why people don't change But there's one more reason why people don't change, and it's called they get into the pressure cooker. And it covers four different areas of the pressure cooker. Pain, pain equals drive. A person that hits a threshold of pain, the problem causes so much pain that the pressure to take action to change it, they feel the pressure to take action to change it. So. So they start taking action to, to change the pain. That's number one. Number two, the drive turns into action. The drive to, to get rid of the pain turns into action. So the, as long as the person's taking action, they're reducing the pain and eliminating the, the aspects of the problem. And number three is the result. The action leads to results. They start seeing results, you know, the pain starts subsiding, it starts going away, it's reduced because of the drive to change is lessened and the motivation to completely resolve the problem is lost. With the lack of drive, the person doesn't have any, with the lack of drive, the person takes less action and gradually they return to the old, be old behavior. And then number four is the result leads to loss of drive. A return to the past action or return to the problem. The problem still remains because they get comfortable because their pain is being, you know, they're taking some action and their pain's starting to subside, so they quit taking action and the problem still exists. People climb in and out of the pressure cooker all the time. How can you avoid it? You can avoid it by the seven steps of conscious change. And that's what the seven steps of uh, to get anything you want were about tonight. Step one is to get disturbed. Be honest with yourself. Don't use softeners or rationalizations. Don't compare yourself to others to make yourself feel better. Don't put yourself in a pity party, a poor me. Um, You know, be honest with yourself. It's it's your responsibility to take action. I mean, it's if you're working from home, you're working online, you're affiliate marketing, internet marketing, or network marketing. It's your responsibility to take action. It's nobody's responsibility to hold your hand and, and make you do it. Also, under get disturbed, you want to get associated with a problem. Figure out what's wrong and find a way to fix it. Make the problem worse than it is to get yourself to take action. If you're not disturbed, you're not going to change. And the third part of it is surround yourself with people who have what you want. Seeing them will disturb you and you will either run back to your old friends to make yourself feel better or you'll join the new people, the new friends and grow into the person, grow into like they are. I mean, uh, you want to, if you really want to change, you'll go with the new friends. You know, um, I made a change a year ago. I decided to start attending Wisdom Wednesday and the 24-hour marketing mastermind and hanging out with Pat Patterson and, and Dave and Katie. And, you know, they have helped me grow into a great person. Hi, Terry. Not, not letting you in, huh? <clears throat> You 
you know, and so I had to make a mental shift. I had to make a change, you know, in my mind. I kind of, you know, get rid of a lot of the negative people. And, you know, a lot of them negative people in my life happen to be family, you know, and I've pushed a lot of them out today. Uh, I mean, I had a family member call me today and kind of got crappy with me. And I hung up on him because he's been negative. I don't have to put up with that, you know, so I've eliminated the negative people in my life. And I don't tolerate the negative. I don't want to sit and argue with somebody. I don't have time for that. Uh, so uh, let's move on to step two. Step two is interesting. Step two is you need to make a real decision. Uh, and I got a question for you. What do successful people have in common? You ask in the chat and see if anybody answers me. I'll give you a few seconds to answer me. Get a little interactive tonight. I kind of interact with you. This teaching is kind of interactive. So if you guys in the chat want to, you know, answer my questions and stuff like that, you know, it'd be really helpful. I'll give you a few seconds to respond. So, <clears throat> what do successful successful people have in common? Successful people have an RPM plan in their lives, for their lives. What is an RPM plan, do you ask? Those who succeed in life have the answers to three questions. Number one is, what is the specific result I am committed to achieving? This is the R, the results thereafter. So, you know, what are you, what are specific results I am committed to achieving? You know, mine is I want to be not only a leader in the community, I want to be a leader in the industry. So I am committed to, you know, working my butt off and achieving in the ranks. And, you know, I set a goal for L3 by April and I'm working towards that. Um, I think this is going to help me. I'm glad I found this. And then Brian Finale's uh, webinar last night was simply amazing. I was going about branding myself kind of the wrong way, and I need to kind of redesign my website and rebrand myself. And like you said, you know, if uh, you're not branding yourself right, you're not sending out a clear message, um, then change it. I mean, it's not too late. You're branding you, so you can change it at any time. Nobody's interacting, so I don't know if everybody left me or what. So this is the R, the results that you're after. Okay. Number two is, why do I want to do this? What is my purpose? This is the P, the purpose. Once you decide knowing your purpose, the why will get you to follow through. Reasons come first and answers come second. Why do I want to do this? Because I want freedom. I'm, you know, I drive three hour round trip to work every day. I don't really hate my job, but, you know, I don't want to drive back and forth three hours a day or three hour round trip to work every day. I don't want to continue doing the same thing I've been doing for 18 years. You know, I'm, I'm tired of it. You know, I want to spend time with my grandchildren. I want to spend time with my wife. I want to see some of this world. I've seen some of it because I was in the military and I traveled a lot on air refuelers, but you know, she hasn't seen the world and I'd like to take her and let her see some of this world. But uh, what is my purpose? My purpose is to serve the community and serve people and help them achieve the same results, you know, um, help them get out of corporate America. Um, the home business industry is set to increase tremendously in 2017 and a lot of it is people like me that don't want to depend on a boss to get to their, you know, to give them their income. I don't want to trade 40 hours a week for a paycheck. I want to set my own income. I want to set my own hours. I want to set my own goals. I want to set my own schedules. Sorry, guys, I'm all stuffed up. And then step three is, in RPM is what is, what specific actions must I take to make this happen? This is the M, 
and the M is the massive action plan. So the RPM stands for Results, Purpose, Massive Action Plan. And I've listened to this in an audio, and I've got a workbook here that I'm going through step by step. I have exercises that I have to do in the workbook, but I thought, you know, I've been through this enough. I, I thought I could come and teach it to you. Um, of course, you know, I had to take notes and uh, to be able to teach it to you, but that's part of uh, becoming a leader in, in the industry. You learn then you, you do it, you know, I'm doing it by taking the, doing the exercises and writing down everything. And then I'm teaching it to you guys. Um, you know, I'm putting all this stuff into practice every day. Um, you know, actually going through this course and making me do the exercises where I got to write down, you know, you know, I got notes, I got notes, notebooks, you know, and Basically, it's a journal, and I'm writing down what steps I'm going to do. You know, like uh, you know, I got to write down what are my specific results that I'm committed to achieving. I got to write it down. And when you write down your goals, you know, that was part of the goal setting workshop a couple of days ago that I went through. You know, that's one of your goals. Your result is your goal. You know, um, new, you know, New Year's resolutions are crap. You know, we want to set goals, achievable goals. That we can do you want to set a long-range goal you know which is for me uh, april is a long-range goal you know i could set a longer goal a bigger goal you know i want to be a millionaire in five years in three years you know but i i like setting you know a long-range goal that you know something i can hit in two three weeks and then something i can hit every day or every week ordered what book on amazon Yeah, um, Terry, if you watch Brian Finale's webinar from last night, MLSB, I think the replay's in the back office, and I think Dave watched it today. It is all about branding, and part two is going to be next Wednesday night, and, you know, I'm all for it. Katie, I think I'm going to have you make me a banner <laughs> to help brand it myself and, you know, redesign my website and stuff. Um, so. Brian's webinar was terrific. I love it. When he said brand branding is important, so the video stopped and I missed the question. The question, but I asked, uh, uh, no, I'm way past that, Dave. So don't don't worry about it. I mean, I may be having internet problems again, so that's why you, the video hung up or something. Or you're having internet problems one or the other, so yeah. But let's move on to step three. And step three. Step three is let's create a massive action plan. So this is where I wanted the chat to be a little more interactive tonight. Um, come up with five action plans or five actions you can take every day and commit to them and do them every day. So come up with five right now. So I'll work with it. Uh, take two minutes and do, and do come up with five action plans. And when you're going to start doing them. I've already done mine, so you know, I'll give you guys a few minutes. And I'll go over mine real quick while you guys are writing yours down. When you when you come up with them, just say done in the chat, you know. So or you can you can type them in the chat what they are. Here are my you know starting Monday, December twenty sixth. I'm gonna start doing a video or a Facebook live every day. I'm gonna interact and do active prospecting in Facebook and talk to five to ten people a day on Facebook. I'm gonna post in twenty groups five times a day. Number four, I'm going to post to Twitter. I'm going to do a tweet three to five times a day. And then I will, I'm going to commit back to writing a blog post every day. Since Brian covered the branding last night, I kind of have a wild idea of a bunch of content. You know, I, I think I, a lot of my problem is I've been trying, I've been, I haven't focused in my target market. And 
I mean, marketing too broadly and not tight enough market and I need to get a tighter market. And after the branding webinar last night, you know, I realized what I'm passionate about. You know, I love doing the show. I love being on the workshop. I love being on Dave's show on Monday night. You know, I'm really passionate about it. But the one thing that drives me more than anything that I love more than anything is building websites. So that's one thing I'm really passionate about is, you know, building computers and building websites. So I'm going to focus my target around, you know, things to help with your computer, things to help you build your website, helps things to help you improve your blog and get traffic and stuff to your blog. So that's what I'm going to focus my passion on. <clears throat> Five's a secret. <laughs> cool. Cool. So moving on to step number four. Step number four is you want to change your self-limiting beliefs, you know, and don't sit there and say you don't have them because we all have self-limiting beliefs. Um, and all a self-limiting belief is, it's a belief. A belief is nothing more than a feeling of absolute certain, certainty about what something means. Beliefs control our behaviors. So if you feel you're not enough, that's a self-limiting belief, and you're not going to be enough. You need to believe that you have the power to create whatever you want in your life and go out and create it. Um, limiting beliefs can be unconscious or conscious. <laughs> yeah, I do love doing this, Dave. You know, um, you know, my it's starting to become one of my big passions. But I don't know if it will ever override um, setting up websites and, and working on computers. But you know, it's a it's a close second. You know, and I really like doing it. So. But, you know, I'm just dedicated to this team. You know, I made the decision to start this hangout, you know, and I, I've i shown up every week. The only week I didn't show up is one night Pat had a hangout at the same time I did, and he wanted me on his hangout. So I canceled that night, and another night was when my grandmother passed away. Those are the only nights I've ever missed this hangout, you know, and I don't mind doing it by myself. It allows me to be me and give you guys – interesting stuff you know and I'm gonna add a sixth thing to that I don't advertise this show enough and I need to start advertising it every week and I need to start posting on Sunday night for the 24-hour marketing show and I need to you know because I'm on the panel on it I need to start advertising for it and then my show too and I need to advertise them all week long and get the word out to more people and that's one of the goals I have set for next week in the new year is to start getting a word out about these shows in this workshop to get more people on it. Right, I'm in no hurry, Terry. You need to get well first. That's the most important thing. When you're well, you can, you're more than welcome to be my sidekick all the time. And where was I? Uh, oh, self limiting bullies. Um, Let's see, they can be unconscious or conscious. They often stem from things we've heard or seen or felt a lot of emotion about. You know, like when you were, you were growing up, you know, uh, a teacher or a counselor may have told you you weren't smart enough to do something. Or, you know, like my dad told me that I would never amount to anything. Uh, I'd never amount to shit in my life, you know. And that was a self limiting belief that held me back for a long time. And as I dug into the mindset training and investing in myself, and uh, you know, I uh, I came to realize, you know, and with the help of Dave and Katie, that I am a powerful person, and I do have a message to put out there, and that I do amount to something. I am important to this to our community and our workshops that I'm on. You know, and after thirty some years of trying to prove I would amount to something, I do amount to something. You know, and that's why I'm always investing in my time. Hi Tim, how are you doing, buddy? You know, and that's why I invest my time into learning all the time. Um, Brian gave a, a webinar to go watch last night, and I wrote it down, and I remember what it was. So I, I did some more searching now on branding in in our uh, our training library. I did branding, and I did personal branding search for, it, and I found 
about four more videos back there that are all just on branding. So if you go back there and do a search on branding and personal branding, you'll find some more stuff on branding back there that the experts are teaching. Diane Hockman has two of them videos, and uh, Norbert has cut one of them, and I don't remember who the other two were. Uh, I found like four or five total. <sighs> Thank you, Tim. Thank you. So we'll move on to step five. Step five is, oh man, I'm going through this too fast. Set yourself up to win. And what that means, you know, when you have a win, reward yourself. Share your experience with your team and your, and your colleagues. Um, and measure your progress progress um, when you reward yourself you know it, you make your first lead or you make five leads in a day you know reward yourself take yourself out to dinner or, or something like that um, you know this this area step five kind of covers your six human needs and I'll go over them briefly you know I'm not going to dig into them I have another webinar planned on the six human needs and uh, I'll probably be doing it probably in the next coming weeks I, I got to do some more studying on it because I'm not real clear on some of them, but um, as soon as I get them down, you know, I'll be teaching them. Yep. That's right, Terry. So the six human needs that we need are certainty. You know, we need to be certain about we have everything we need to survive. And then we need to have uncertainty, you know, a variety, like, you know, like a candy store. You go into a candy store and you have a variety. That's what uncertainty is. And then we have to have love and connection, which is our relationships. That was number three. Number four is we need to have significance. And significance is, you know, we want to be told we've done a good job. You want to be recognized, you know. Um, that's what the leadership level comes from. You want, you want to be recognized for your achievements. You want to grow as a person. That's number five. And then you want to come when you're at the sixth level of your human need, you want to give back to society. And those are our six human needs. And like I said, you know, I'm going to do another webinar in the future. You know, it might be a good, good webinar for Dave and I to do together because we're both studying this pretty much the same areas. So, you know, that might be something we can tag team together and cover one night. But, you know, when you, you have a success, you get your first lead, you know, share it with the group, share it with the community, you know, get on the MLSP blog, get on our workshop blog and share it with everybody. If you get five leads in a day, share it with everybody, you know, count your wins, pat yourself on the back for your wins, because uh, nobody's going to hold you accountable but you. So if you hold yourself accountable and you get the win, then reward yourself for it. Uh, yeah, and then share your experience. When you share the experience, it adds, adds an emotional intensity and makes the process more enjoyable along the way. So, if you share it, you know that everybody says, "Hey, good job, good job, job." And then you're you're more inclined to go do it again the next day. <coughs> and then you want to measure your progress. You know, if you you get five leads today and you get three tomorrow and you get five leads the next day and you get two leads the next day and you get one lead the next day. You want to measure your progress and see how come you're not getting five leads every day. And, you know, um, and you set yourself up to win by measuring in more than one way. For, you know, for example, if you measure the pounds you lose, it may be days when you don't see results. Measure anything that can give you growth. And by measuring results, it gives you growth. So, you know, so five leads, three, then five, then one. You want to measure and find out why the day, them off days you're not getting five leads because, and then it'll help you grow where you can get five leads a day. And step six is kind of the same as this, kind of the step is three, step three, but this is, that was to create our action plan. And step six is to take massive action. So, in step six, taking massive action, there's 
there's no time like the present. Never leave sight of the goal without doing something towards its attainment. You know, we went through the RPM. Your result is your goal, and that's what you want. So you want to strive to achieve that. Achieve that. Do something while you're inspired, while you're in state. The more massive action you take, the more committed you are to achieving your result. The power of in, incantations is part of that too. You can't just get rid of negative belief. You have to replace it. The incantation, incantating your new belief, saying them again and again, changing the emphasis and changing your state. By changing the emotion, you change the impact you feel and you begin to condition yourself for even more action. So you have to associate um, a pleasure with when you want to change something. That's what the incantation is. So if instead of, uh, you know, I can't do this, uh, I must do this. And I must do this because if I achieve success, then I will be able to help other people do it too. So you want to kind of associate pleasure with the success. If you keep associating the negative with it, you know, then you're going to keep getting negative results. Um, then the massive action creates momentum. You don't have to do a thousand things. Just have, you have to do one thing. That's why we always say, you know, um, Pick one strategy in, in the training library and master it. Um, I mean, I, I'm bad about it too. I, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I said, I'm training back there. I want to dive into this and dive into that. And you know, I got to pull back the reins and say, whoa, your brain can only handle so much at once. And you got to focus on this area or this area, you know, work on that. And uh, we all do it. You know, we all have negative thoughts and we have to crush them negative thoughts. And, you know, that that's a lot of the thing that I'm, learning in this course you have to um the success and changing the belief you had to add a, a pleasure to it the more pain you have you know like I, I talked about the the um, pressure cooker i mean you achieve results to get out of the pain and then when as soon as you are getting results you just start slowly backing out of it you know and then boom you're not taking action no more and, and the pain starts coming back the pain's always still there. You were just taking action to make the pain go away. Well, instead of coming back and not taking action anymore and coming back to the pain, associate the action to a pleasurable result. You know, so if I get five people to sign up under me, not only am I making an income from home, I just prove to myself that I can do it and I can help someone else do it. So you're turning, you know, it into a pleasurable experience. But don't beat yourself if you don't get any. And it's true, one lead is better than none. Exactly. You know, that's a good point. But the point is, you have to be in constant action all the time. You can't just take some action today and say, oh, I'll skip tomorrow and, you know, something else. You know, I have a bad habit of taking Saturday and Sunday off, you know, and Friday too, because my wife's off Friday. And Saturday, and she works Sunday. We'll start a lot of times Sunday. I'll be around the house being lazy and stuff like that, or I'll, I'll watch a football game. And I don't watch a lot of TV, but I will watch my Cowboys play because they're having a tremendous year this year. But in the new year, you know, and this is a goal. It's not, it's not a, a New Year's resolution. It's a goal. I plan to take more action. I plan to, you know, I want to. Davis talked about, you know, him and I getting together on Sunday and masterminding about what to talk about on Monday. I think that's a good plan of attack, you know, and I think we should do that. I should be more productive on, on Sunday. I mean, Saturday, Friday and Saturday, I don't know. My wife's talking about going today. She's going, she's supposed to be bidding on a position on day shift, and her days will shift to, uh, I think she said a Sunday, Monday off. So she'll be off Sunday and Monday. So, you know, that'll work. That'll put me in action on Friday and Saturday, you know, and then I can still kind of take Sunday off to spend with her, you know, if Dave needs me, then I can hop on a hangout with him or something like that. But, uh, 
the exercise that's associated with the take massive action plan is big action little action and what are two actions you can take immediately to get yourself going little action is make a phone call and, and make amends to somebody like Brian and I talked about this on a, a one of the wake-up calls this week um, you know don't don't uh, what do you say don't uh, don't say I forgive you or, or I'm sorry or anything like that just call say hey I just called to say I love you you know uh, you know like my, my mother today I, I called her and talked to her because it's today is my mom and dad's 49th anniversary we we have a family riff going on which I don't want to get into but we don't talk as much as we used to but you know I called her and said you know happy anniversary I just called to tell you happy anniversary and I love you I left it at that you know it didn't go no further than that we talked about a few other things grandkids and stuff like that but you know I left the door open you know she wants to call me and talk to me then she can you know and that helps me get it off my chest and off my brain that I open the door for her to talk to me if she wants to me and I can get into that a little bit you know I won't, I won't go into great detail about it before I get the seventh the seventh step but uh see I've always been the black sheep of my my family my little brother's always been up on a pedestal and I've always been down here you know and my little brother and his wife didn't speak to my parents and didn't have anything to do with them for 10 years you know and I was you know everything to them in them 10 years me and my wife and my kids well in the last year two years my brother's come back and yeah it's been two years let's come back into their life and well guess what I'm back on the outs again so you know and I don't let it bother me I put it like I did today you know I called and told her her and dad happy anniversary and told her I loved her you know and that was it I left the door open I don't have nothing to feel guilty about I'm not the one that pushed me out the door they did you know I have nothing I'm not even mad about it I mean I'm, I'm used to it and I've lived it my entire life it, it don't bother me but you know my wife gets mad about it my brother all gets mad about it my my wife's family gets mad about it because of how, how they treat me but I'm so used to it it don't bother me anymore and it don't it don't really affect me you know and I don't let it affect me because I can't live in that negative state I had to turn it over to her I had to give it to God and, and he'll heal it in his time and that's what I had to do and that's why I made the phone call today and that's that's the little action, you know, and Brian, if you go listen to the wake up call from Monday or Tuesday, I think it was, Brian talks about this, you know, so if you got something holding you back, you know, I, I would recommend that you do this, you know, make that phone call. And the big action is some things take time, energy, money, and effort, you know, don't expect big results right now. If you're taking action and being consistent every day, the results will happen, but the main thing is to be consistent and do it daily, you know. If you can't write a blog post every day, you know, then commit to doing two a week and then build yourself up to, you know, there's seven days in a week, do two a week, then build it up to three a week, then build it up to four a week. You know, and if you want to take a couple days off, you know, build it up to five days a week and take two days off. At least you're taking consistent daily action and that's where people have success and that's where you get leads and that's where you get sales by taking daily consistent action and step number seven is the seventh power and I'm gonna read it to you what it says when you care how people feel about you you make them feel you make them your peers and you give them the power to influence you influence the way you think tap into the seventh power and the power of environment choose a peer group with a high standard utilize a coach and immerse yourself in an environment that reinforces you for your wins and challenges you and challenges you to a greater heights that's what the workshop is Katie and Dave are a group of my peers who challenge me make me step out of my comfort zone drop off the hangout and leave me to lead the hangout by myself you know they challenge me, they, they, they edify me, and they help me grow as a person. And that's what you want. That's what our 24-hour marketing workshop is all about, is helping people rise up and step into their power. And, you know, I hope these seven steps helped you out and uh, give you, you know, some, uh, 
a little bit of insight that'll help you create what you want. You know, and if you do these action steps, um, then uh, you can uh, you can. And if you want to do work through the workbook, get online, search Anthony Robbins, get the edge PDF, download the PDF, and you can work right through this workbook. Um, if you want. If you guys want a copy of the workbook, let me know. I can uh, I can upload it to my Dropbox, and you guys can go in there and download it. You know, just send me a message, let me know, and I'll, I'll make sure you get a copy of it. There's a lot of good material in here, you know, and I'm I'm working through it myself because I bought the Ultimate Edge course, and I bought his personal. It come with uh, seven days of personal power with it, you know, and I'm working through it, and I'm looking at buying another course because. You know, when I'm done with this course, I'm ready to go into the next course. But I got to keep implementing what I'm learning in this course. And you know, that RPM that was really powerful, and it kind of goes along with what Brian Finale was teaching last night. You know, and oh, Terry, you're on. Hi, girl. <laughs> I didn't know you realized you were on. But um, you always want to be branding yourself. People don't buy products. They buy from people. So it doesn't matter if you're selling health and wellness. It doesn't matter if you're selling, you know, car parts. You're selling used cars. You're selling uh, vitamins and shakes. You're not selling a product. You're selling you. You know, and uh, you want to promote yourself and promote you. Don't promote MLSP. You promote you. Brand your website. Brand your blog. Dave talked about putting on. A link thing at the bottom of your your website I, I mean bottom of your email address bottom of face or uh, in your Facebook about me uh, I recommend putting on every blog post you write put it there and put your picture with the blog post people get used to seeing your picture you know I didn't teach uh, in the simple lead system putting your picture on your uh, posting a group picture you know and that's something I'm going to make a video and I'm going to add to the simple lead center. You know, brand the picture you're putting out there while you're posting in groups. They start seeing your face. Hey, and Sonia, Sonia started doing it and Maria's doing it. I know Katie's been doing it the whole time she's been posting. <laughs> I didn't see her down there. I, Katie, I know I'm a dork. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Quit picking on me. <laughs> she's picking on me last night, too. I didn't. I was so focused on what I was teaching. I never looked down there and even saw you on. You know, you should have unmuted and hard at me and said something. So how you feeling? Uh, you're all muted. I can't hear you. Yeah, you're muted. I can't hear you. I'm telling Pat what? Tell Pat what? That you're picking on me? He'll tell me tough shit. Just get over it. <laughs> then he'll give me shit about a girl picking on me. That's all right, King. I still love you. You pick on me all the time. I just. <laughs> uh... I don't know what's wrong with your mic, Terry. I can't hear you at all. So I don't know if there's something wrong with your headsets or volume or what. Try your volume on. Try to turn your volume up on your on your mic on your computer. Maybe that's a problem. But I kind of blew through that stuff pretty fast. So um, actually, for not having prepared it and going over it, I wrote a bunch of the stuff down ahead of time. I mean, because so I got home, I left work at four o'clock. So I got home around five, but actually five, five thirty, quarter to six, because uh, there was a big wreck on the way home, and I got detoured around it, so I didn't get to spend as much time on it as I wanted. <laughs> and then Dave was fixing my on helping me fix my uh, affiliate ID. So if you take Penny Patient Marketing 
and put in forward slash question mark ID equals and put your affiliate name in there. When you send it out, people, when they hit the yes, let me in button and you'll get credit for the sale, you know, if they decide to take a 10 day trial of it. So my link is all affiliatized. So you guys can, um, I'm sorry, I got a habit of talking with my hand. I just see myself on the video with her. <laughs> but, you know, you want to advertise, you know, now you can advertise it with your affiliate link. That way, if somebody comes and joins, then you get to sell for it. I'm going to start putting this link out there and start, uh, Dave's been working on it, writing copy. And I've been, I have that class lined up. I showed Dave what it was. I've kind of skimmed through it, the video a little bit, but I need to go back and watch it in depth and take notes. Um, I'm focused on this branding stuff that Brian talked about last night. That branding was pretty powerful stuff last night. He gave a training video, uh, search Norbert in the training library. And it is 11, 9, 2016. It's pillars of content, content strategies with Norbert. It's how to write good content for your blog. So you guys get out there and watch that. I also did some searching on, uh, in the training library to find more about branding. And I found uh, how to create a brand that sticks like glue. I don't remember who, who did it, but it's uh, 6 2014. And then uh, <clears throat> another one was JP Litnick doing SEO link building. No, oh, that, that's something else. Personal branding was uh, Diane Hockman's, they're uh, 1023 2013. Package your story properly and make more money all day long. And then 10, 14, 2013, ultimate freedom, freedom, ultimate freedom with Diane Hockman ca capturing your audience. So those are the three branding videos I found in the training library and along with the, the Norbert one. That, so there's four videos right there that you can become an authority on branding. And I'm going to go through all four of them and I'm going to, go beat the crap out of my website my blog and i'm gonna rebrand it because i mean i i've got a lot of it that's my own stuff on there but some of the backgrounds i think i've changed a lot of the background to that that uh picture i took of the sunrise in the morning and that's my picture i own it i took it on the way into work one day this the clouds and everything just had a funky uh aura about them that looked really weird and the sun was rising it just looked really cool so i just pulled out my phone and i took it with this you know my cell phone i got a samsung galaxy s7 you know i took it with it and it was an amazing picture and i've got a couple other ones of sunset that were the same kind of night sky that i took right at work but they got some you know poles and stuff in a way i might get in photoshop to see if i can take out the poles and the guy wires and stuff like that um you know, my advice to you, if you want to become a leader in this industry, you know, we've all been teaching five steps, you know, to, and tonight's been a lot of steps I've, I've taught you. So I hope you were taking notes and, uh, but five steps, you know, that you can grow, you know, and ha have instant authority, you know, and learn to become an authority. You know, you want to get a mentor. That's step number one, find a mentor and, it don't have to just be a personal mentor. I mean, yes, it's great to have a personal mentor, but you can have silent mentors like Katie likes to say. Uh, uh, Paul Hutchings, you know, he's a silent mentor of mine, you know, and I got the great pleasure of meeting him in Nashville last year, or actually this year, April 2016. I met him in Nashville and got to shake his hand, got a picture with him and everything, you know, and it was pretty awesome to meet Paul Hutchings, and I still follow him today and listen to his stuff. And, uh, you know, Diane Hockman, you know, I've met, never met Diane Hockman. She's a silent mentor of mine. Tony Robbins, I bought his course. I bought two of his courses, you know, so he's a silent mentor. Les Brown, silent mentor. Eric Thomas, you know, they don't have to be personal one-on-one -on -one mentors. They can be silent mentors. Ray Higdon, you know, that's the next course I'm looking to buy is a Ray Higdon course. You know, he, he found, I found one of his courses that really sparked my interest. And so, I'm looking real hard at it and I think I'm going to buy it here in the next week or so. Um, so, you know, 
Ray Higdon and Diane Hockman, you know, are two of, two of my southern mentors. I own a Diane Hockman course, you know, and now I'm going to buy a Ray Higdon course, you know. So, and these guys, those two are like top leaders in our industry, you know. So they were where we were at one time, and they've grown into these amazing, amazing leaders. So it evidently works. So, you know, successfully clues, maybe uh, follow what they did, and maybe you fall into success yourself. <laughs> You can hear, can you hear me? I know. I couldn't hear you. I don't know. I don't think anybody else could hear you either. Might be my internet connection. I might be having issues tonight. I don't know. Dave said I was breaking up a little earlier. So, um, now I forgot my train of thought. Um, yeah, I, and I looked through the back, the training office on Ray. He's got a lot of that, that training that's in the back office under the training tab. I've looked through it and there is a bunch of it in there. And actually, uh, his big course sponsoring secrets or something is that's the course I was looking at, at mine. And, but, uh, yeah, or the three in the three minute expert. I haven't decided on sponsoring secrets or three minute expert. I, I, those are the two that I'm looking at, and those are well, I want to own both of them. But what I'm doing is taking what I'm making in my commission and making it in my business, and I'm investing 100 percent back in courses right now until I get to a level where you know I'm making enough money that I don't have to worry about it. You know. They, they say invest 20% back in your income while investing 100% back in my myself and my business right now. That way I have something to learn, something to do, and something to teach all the time. You know, and that's why I'm buying courses at this time. You know, I'm, my business is making money, so I'm reinvesting my money back into me and my business. And, you know, that's how you become in state. You know, that's how you uh, come up with the knowledge. Everybody has something to teach. You know, and everybody has their own story. You just have to get the belief that you can deliver it out there to the audience and, uh, you know, just go out there and do it, you know. And to say you can't do it, you can't make a video, you can't do a live hangout, I say bull. Because a year ago, I was saying the same things, you know. And I'm here every week doing a hangout. Yeah, I haven't been doing videos over the last couple of months and stuff, the election. And... Everything kind of threw me out of consistency, you know, and then I started working on my course. I know that's an excuse. That's an that's a excuse that I made, you know, and starting next week, I'm on vacation all next week. The excuses go out the window. I'm going to start working before the new year ever gets here. You know, I'm going to start working harder on me and harder on my business. And, you know, January 3rd, I got to go back to work. But I always make time for my business and my community and, my peeps and my my uh, my loyal friends that are in this community, you know, they're always there for me, and I'm always there for them, and that means more to me than anything. So, I'm going to cut a little bit short tonight because I'm kind of running out of things, and I'm starting to get a horse, so uh, I don't want to lose my voice completely. But I want to wish each and every one of you that are on here a very merry Christmas, and. Uh, you know, Dave's not hanging his, having his hangout on Monday night. So, uh, you know, if you guys need anything, hit me up in the chat. I'll, I'll be around all weekend. I have family coming in Saturday. You know, uh, enjoy your Christmas. Terry, I hope you have a Merry Christmas. You know, um, you got you won that thing. I hope Toby has a great Christmas. You know, I, I am really proud of you. And I look to see you grow tremendously in 2017 and step in to the leader I know you are. You know, so. I know I can't hear what you're saying, but, you know, you get my meaning. <laughs> and I know I know how you feel. You know, you've been through so much, and I've been an ear for you to, to chew on and tell me a lot of your struggles and stuff like that. And, you know, I think your, your struggles are over. It's time for you to start believing in yourself and step into the power of you and start delivering. Because I know you got it in you, girl. You just got to. Got to do it. Get healthy and do it. You know, and 
and all the rest of my friends, Dave, Katie, and everybody else, anybody else that I missed that's in the chat, you know, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. And, you know, I'll see all of you sometime next week. Uh, and I don't know if Sonia's having her hangout Tuesday or not. Um, I'm sure Pat's having his Wednesday, and I will have mine next Thursday. So, Terry, get your mic fixed so you can be on live next Thursday. And uh, I will see you guys all later, you know. So, have a very Merry Christmas and a great weekend. I'll see you all later. I love you all. Good night.